Once upon a time, in a quaint little village nestled between rolling hills and whispering forests, there lived a young boy named Oliver. Oliver was a curious and imaginative child who loved bedtime stories more than anything in the world. Every night, his mother would tuck him into bed and weave enchanting tales that transported him to magical land. One moonlit evening, as Oliver snuggled under his cozy blanket, his mother began a new bedtime story. Once in a distant kingdom, there was a brave and noble knight named Sir Ethan. He possessed a heart full of courage and a spirit that soared as high as the castle towers. One day, news reached Sir Ethan that a fearsome dragon had been terrorizing the kingdom, setting villages ablaze with its fiery breath. Determined to protect his people and bring peace back to the land, Sir Ethan set off on a perilous journey. Along the way, he encountered various challenges and met interesting characters, each with their own unique skills and stories. The first person he met was a wise old hermit who lived deep within the forest. The hermit shared his knowledge of ancient magic, teaching Sir Ethan how to harness the power of the elements. With this newfound ability, Sir Ethan was able to create a shield of wind to protect himself from the dragon's flames. Next. Sir Ethan stumbled upon a mischievous sprite named Poppy, who lived in a hidden grove. Poppy had a special talent for weaving spells and concocting potions. She gifted Sir Ethan a vial of potion that granted him extraordinary strength and agility. Armed with the hermit's wisdom and Poppy's gift, Sir Ethan ventured into the dragon's lair. The fearsome beast lunged at him, breathing scorching flames that licked the air. But Sir Ethan, swift and nimble, evaded the fiery onslaught with his newfound agility. He unleashed a mighty swing of his sword, striking the dragon's scales with a resounding clang. Roaring in pain, the dragon thrashed its mighty tail, but Sir Ethan was prepared. He raised his shield of wind, deflecting the dragon's attack and leaving it vulnerable. With a final strike, Sir Ethan plunged his sword deep into the dragon's heart, bringing an end to its reign of terror. As the dragon took its last breath, its body transformed into a wisp of smoke, vanishing into the air. The kingdom rejoiced, and Sir Ethan was hailed as a hero. He returned to the castle, where the king praised him for his bravery, and the grateful villagers celebrated his victory with a grand feast. From that day forward, Sir Ethan became a legendary figure, his tale whispered among children and adults alike. And whenever a child found it difficult to fall asleep, they would close their eyes and imagine themselves as Sir Ethan, the courageous knight who conquered the dragon and brought peace to the land. Oliver's eyes sparkled with wonder as his mother finished the story. With a contented smile, he drifted off to sleep, dreaming of far-off kingdoms, daring adventures, and the courage that dwelled within his own heart. And so, in the land of dreams, Oliver embarked on his own extraordinary journey, filled with endless possibilities and enchanting tales yet to be told. Good night, my dear Oliver.